Good evening, people watch. I'm at 65. Lisa Boyce here. I'm late. I know. Um, I was waiting to get a call back to see if I could get tested for the coronavirus, but I never got a call back, and I found out on the news that they're turning people away who were under 60. <sighs> Go figure, right? But anyway, um, I wasn't feeling too good this morning. I was short of breath, and I just... Figured I'd come on later uh, to give you guys some news. I got this off of the Times of Israel. It says that a plague of locusts to hit the e uh, hit the Egypt area, but it won't hit Israel during Passover. This is interesting. I got it came in. Actually, it came in yesterday. So it says here, and I'm going to read this. This is off the Times of Israel. It says, Just as the biblical plague skipped over the children of Israel in Egypt, authorities reported that a huge swarm of locusts headed towards the Middle East will skip over Israel. It says that locusts watch the food and agricultural organizations of the United Nations reported that New swarms are forming in the Horn of Africa. The situation remains extremely alarming in the Horn of Africa, specifically in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Somalia, where widespread breeding is in progress and new swarms are starting to form, representing an unprecedented threat to food supply. Livelihoods at the beginning of the upcoming um, cropping season this is bad. According to Locust Watch three-month forecast, the threat will pass south of Israel before heading east towards Yemen, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, and Pakistan. A similar swarm threatened Israel last year just before Passover, but never materialized. Swarms are often tens of square kilometers in size. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, charged with monitoring locust outbreaks, explained. The Food and Agricultural Organization warned that a swarm of just one square kilometer, one square kilometer, eats the same amount of food in one day as 35,000 people. Can you imagine? A swarm that size of Mali or Niger can consume what half the population of either country would eat in a single day. The swarms can also travel 93 miles a day, making efforts to control an outbreak even more difficult. Officials warn that either rains that the officials warn that further rains in the region could lead to an even bigger outbreak because they seem to come out in the rain. It says a similar infestation that took place exactly seven years ago in southern Israel was successfully controlled. In 1915, a locust swarm in then Palestine led to a regional famine. Now, the coronavirus has left many supermarkets in Israel struggling to keep their shelves stock, and the arrival of locust swarms would help because they eat them. That's what they do. I wanted to give you that um, bit of news there. Um, stock market was positive today because I guess um, they signed a stimulus that says that couples will receive $2,400 and I guess uh, individuals will receive $1,200 for this uh, money that's going out to uh, people. All Americans get something. Um, I don't know. That's pretty good. 
I guess. But anyway, I will come back on tomorrow. Um, just keep looking up. Keep uh, being prayed up. And keep being worded up. Because between swarms of locusts, the coronavirus, the stock market, and them not they're not going to find a cure. They're, they're hoping that this thing is over in two weeks. That's what they're hoping for. Um, it's not going to be over in two weeks. It'll be just peaking like it is now. We just got here in Ohio a um, hundred and something cases of positive cases of Corona right here. So I just continue to know that the more that happens, the more we're out of here in a matter of time. And I'm just telling you to keep looking up because it's not going to be long. He's at the door. He's about to take us home. Guaranteed. I'll be back on. Have a nice night.